This is an information video. Today we are going to make a simple LED flasher using a single transistor. You might be wondering watching this circuit. This is BC547 which is an NPN transistor. The flashing of this circuit has very much dip. You can make use of any NPN transistor. Even you can make use of 2N2222 or BD139 or BC548 etc. In this circuit we will be using two capacitors. One is 100 microfarad capacitor. We will first test this circuit using 100 microfarad capacitor. After that we will be parallelly connecting a 220 microfarad capacitor along with this 100 microfarad capacitor to form a 330 microfarad capacitor and we will test the circuit. Then you will understand how the capacitance is having influence in the flashing of this LED. I have given the explanation and the circuit at the end of this video. Even the resistors are having very much influence in the working of this circuit. So do not change any values of the resistor. Instead of that you first make the circuit using the exact values what we have used in this circuit and then change the values as your own wish. As I told earlier this is an information video and the practical use of this circuit is very much limited. Please note that the base of the transistor do not have any connection. Input voltage also has dependency with the working of this circuit. This is the complete schematic and the base of the transistor is left unconnected. Here the capacitor and the resistor is controlling the transistor operation indirectly. When the power is switched on the LED will be in the off state. This is because the base emitter junction do not have any current flow. Meanwhile the capacitor starts charging through 4.7K resistor. When the capacitor voltage reaches certain threshold voltage, this voltage depends upon the type of the transistor we are using. It will leak the current through the base to make the base emitter junction forward biased. If you watch the transistor's internal structure, you can understand it easily. This will make the current to flow from a collector to emitter to make the LED switched on. When the capacitor discharges completely, then that transistor will become switched off and LED will also become switched off. Then the capacitor starts charging and continues this cycle to form a flashing LED effect. Let us test this circuit using a 12 volt power supply. Please keep this in mind that the power supply should be higher than the threshold voltage of the transistor. The moment I connected the power supply, the LED starts flashing. The flashing rate is a bit high because we are using only 100 microfarad capacitor and the, the studio is having very high brightness. That is why the brightness of the LED seems not good but I will switch off the studio light and will show you how much brightness the LED is having. The studio flashlight has switched off. The studio is now having only one tube light which is of 4 feet and 20 watt. The LED's the brightness you can just watch it how much brightness it is. This is a very interesting flasher with a very less components. Now we will increase the capacitance by giving this 220 microfarad capacitors in parallel to the 100 microfarad capacitor which we have already soldered to this circuit. Now the total capacitance becomes 220 microfarad plus 100 microfarad to form 320 microfarad capacitance. You can change the capacitance according to your wish. The more the capacitance, the less the flashing rate. Now you can see the flashing rate which is very less. I believe this is more beautiful than the previous one. I will switch off the studio light so that the brightness of the LED is clearly visible. If you believe that this video was helpful to you, then please click like button and also share this to your friends. If you have any suggestions or doubts related to this video then please comment on this video. Please subscribe to my channel for getting more videos like this. That will be an encouragement to me for making more things like this to you. This is Tech Insert signing off. See you in another video. Till then, goodbye and please take care.